your scars behind a perfect picture You always feel like you don't measure up I wish you would see you don't have to be everything to everyone Nothing to prove, no need to be flawless to be loved
Alright guys, I'm in uh, Vernon, California now. Just got, I just got off the 710 freeway at Bandini Boulevard. Uh, I came down I-5 all the way, very, and it was on 710 for an extremely short distance. We head west on Bandini now, and head down to Downey Avenue, Downey Road, whatever you want to call it. Actually, not my first drop. This is my second of three drops that I'm getting ready to go to. Uh, I don't, I'm not due for delivery until 9 a.m., but I'm going to go ahead and get over there, see if I can find a place to park. Yeah, send my arrival call, and then just hang out. You have one hour and zero minutes of remaining drive time. been to this particular customer that I'm going to right now. Uh, it's Glen something meat company. I forget the name of them. This domino goes south on Downey. And then turn east on I forget what the name of that street is. It smells good here. Okay, now I did hear this, uh, or at least I read the Google reviews on this place, and it seems that they are not very well designed for trucks. Or for 53 footers. I mean, looking at their satellite view, it looks like it might be best to actually back into their lot from the from the street, and then that way you can yeah, have an easier time, uh, and then actually sight sight into the one of the doors. Glen Rose Meat Company, and I got Downey Avenue coming up here. This light coming right up right here is going to be a left turn. I'm not very far down the road. Actually, I think the same street that I would normally turn right on to go over to where uh, the lineage, lineage logistics facilities are for uh, American growers. Uh, same street that I would turn on there, which I forget the name of. Uh, I turned left instead of right. All right, got railroad tracks here and a red light, so we're gonna have to hang out here on this side of the tracks. Fresca. So I can also uh, turn on to Exchange Avenue, which Exchange Avenue, I think it's the same street that kind of goes over. Oh. Uh, now, the question is, is this light going to stay green for me? So I don't have to sit and stop on the railroad tracks. on the riverbed. That Vernon Way or whatever it's called here, Vernon Avenue. I 
No, uh, it's the Exchange Road. I don't know uh, if you can turn right on. I think you, you, know, you can turn right in uh, on the Exchange, I think, but it, it so basically goes on to someone else's, uh, on a company's private property. Whatever, right? Oh, yeah, this is, this is Exchange Road right here. I do see a number of trucks parked over here. No stopping 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. on Thursday. Okay, so if I can find a place along the curb here in the park, I'm going to. Maybe go a little further down the road. Let's take a look. Got plenty of trucks parked around the area. Okay, if I take this road all the way down to the end. Curves around to the right, and uh, right over there, you know, on the on the right side is where my customer will be. Um, you know, there's a truck parked there, but there's dock doors behind them. too early getting here. But it's alright. Let's take a look at what the what their arrangement is like. of where I need to be. Alright, so like I said, this is Glen Rose Meat Company. Uh, as many times as I've been to Vernon, this is the first time I've been to this particular customer. Uh, Google reviews seem to be very favorable as, as a whole, uh, both from truck drivers and regular customers. I guess customers love getting their meat from here. Uh, you know, just because they're basically a direct to market supplier. Um, but then truck drivers, aside from the, I guess the, the seemingly challenging backings, or at least that's the impression they give, um, I 
I mean, it looks like there's more room here than I was expecting, to be honest with you, but is there enough for me to do like a U-turn setup? I don't know about that. I I would venture a guess. I'll probably want to go uh, maybe back in, yeah, back into the lot for, uh, by nosing into that driveway across the street or something and then just back straight in. Right? Uh, yeah, if I had a Freightliner, it looks like there might be enough room to, to do a U-turn inside their lot, but my truck, I, I don't know, I don't think I'd want to try that. Uh, my truck doesn't have the greatest turn radius. So, yeah, it's plenty of wide road, it's easy, it'll be an easy setup, even if I don't use that driveway over there. Um, even if I were to blindside in, it's... Uh, yeah, it's more, it's a very nice and wide lane here. Um, to, yeah, to get my trailer into that lot. So, no concern at all there, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the reviews, uh, they do seem to say that they're very fast unloading. And uh, uh, Mr. Rose, or whatever, I guess the owner is, I guess his name is, I guess the guy's name is Glenn Rose. Uh, the, the guy who owns the place and I guess uh, as a whole I guess the the people who work here are supposedly really friendly and helpful and stuff but then uh, I did see some rave reviews about Mr. Rose himself but then I did see a couple of people uh, say something about how he's uh, or I assume it was him they're talking about was a complete asshole to them or and to other people as well so I don't know maybe the guy gets on the war path at times when you know when something's not going right or something I guess but it's otherwise a decent guy for what it sounds like so, all right that's uh, that's it for this so um, I'll have some more footage here in a second uh, shortly here uh, uh, when I go to make my delivery, okay? So, stay tuned.